And hello everybody and welcome to the Canton High School Softball Complex. I'm Mark Pixler, glad to be with you here for this IESA softball game between two Fulton County schools, Farmington and also Canton Ingersoll. Should be an interesting matchup as we are early in the season but uh, Canton coming in at 5-0 and on the record, and we're glad to have you with us on Canton Public Access TV and also Farmington Community Access Television, also on our YouTube channel. You can watch the games there as well. So just go to uh, type in Mark Bixler once you go to YouTube and look for a guy that is in a uh, sports coat. And it's high. And uh, click on that profile, and that will take you to the page that has this game on it. So we're certainly glad to have you with us. And we're going to take a quick break, and we will be back with the introductions of the starting lineups here tonight from Canton in just a moment. Helping bring you tonight's game, Spoonerver Animal Clinic. Compassionate care when needed most. Hi V, your employee owned grocery store on North Main in Canton. The Bank of Farmington with locations in Canton and Farmington. Remax Traders Unlimited, Susie McMillan, your local agent. WBYS, the voice of Fulton County. Stereo Village, located on South 4th Avenue in Canton. Wesley United Methodist Church, to know Christ and make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions. If you'd like to buy a DVD, call us. And we welcome you back to Canton. Let's run down the starting lineups, the batting order. For Farmington, the Lady Farmers leading off, batting uh, or playing the catching position will be number 12, Emma Evans. Playing right field, batting second, number one, Deidre Lang. Lauren Kephart will play left field, and she'll be wearing number 20. Reese Putrich, the shortstop, wearing 14, will bat in the cleanup spot. Batting fifth, Justice Jennings will play second base, wearing 21, sixth. Delaney Foster will be playing first base, wearing number eight. Sydney Barton will play third base and bat seven, wearing number seven. Bailey Jansen will be the designated player, batting eighth, wearing number 11. And batting ninth, Olivia Marcotte will play center field. She wears number six. And the flex player, and pitching will be Erica Pasley. She wears number four. For Canton and the Little Giants, leading off will be the shortstop wearing number three, Faith Demler. Bailey Culver, the center fielder, wears 13, batting second. Batting third will be Ellen Petty, the third baseman. She wears 14. Hallie Bear, the first baseman, will be batting in the cleanup spot wearing number 10. Ellie Downing will play second base and wear number 33. She'll be batting in the fifth position. In the sixth position, the designated player will be number 31, Katie Smith. Batting seventh will be Ruby Davis, the catcher, wearing number 21. Elizabeth Rosich, the pitcher, wears number four. She'll be batting eighth. Batting ninth will be Ella Wheeler, the left fielder, and she will wear number 12, and the flex player will wear number 9 and play right field, and that is, <laughs> excuse me, Abby DiRenzi. We will take a break, and we'll be back with the first pitch of this matchup between Canton and Farmington in just a moment. 
Helping bring you this event, Monocle's Pizza, located on North 5th Avenue in Canton. In Canton, we deliver. By Canton Napa, located on North 1st Avenue in Canton. Innovations Hair Design, with locations in Canton and Macomb. Sedgwick Funeral Homes, with locations in Canton, Farmington, and Bartonville. CD Country, your home in the country. Lambs of God Daycare and Preschool, located on Avenue A in Canton. By M. Bixler Video Productions. Interested in underwriting an event? Give us a call. It costs less than you think. Back in Canton, and we are just about ready to get underway. Canton has taken the field, and the Farmington is just about set to Emma Evans. Just about ready to step into the batter's box for the Lady Farmers. I'm Mark Bixler. Glad to be with you here this afternoon from Canton's 4th Avenue, the CHS Sports Softball Complex. Evans takes or swings and misses, and she finds herself down in the count 0 and 1 as pitching for Canton is Elizabeth Rossich. This is a little outside, evens the count at a ball and a strike. Rosich, the 1-1 one, one delivers, and that has taken a strike. So that is, that makes the count a ball and two strikes now on Evans, and that is right back to Rosich as she fires on to Bear at first base, and there's one away. So Evans is out one to three if you're scoring with us. Nidra Lang will step in now for the Lady Farmers with one away. And Bixler Video Productions, glad to be with you here for this IESA regular season matchup. We do a few of these each year. Try to do some softball, some volleyball, and basketball games, although uh, once in a while we just Unfortunately, can't do some of the regular season games because of conflicts with high school games. It makes it a little more difficult. But uh, these early season games for softball start before, are taking place before school. I should say the high school season starts. So that makes it a little easier. And that is taken a little low. And it is three balls and a strike. On Lang, Lauren Le Kephart, rather Lauren Kephart steps in uh, after will step in after that walk. Lauren Kephart steps in as we said now for the Lady Farmers. Top half of the first, just underway as Rosich delivers, and that's fouled back to the screen, first base side. 0-1 is a count on Kephart. A runner on with one out for Farmington, and that is grounded to Demler, picks it up, gets the force. So the lead runner is out, 6-4. to four. Lang is out. Reese Putrich at bat as Kephart reaches on the fielder's choice. So that went from Demler to Downing. Two away. Still one runner on. Back up the middle, Rossage picks it up on the bear, and that ends the inning. So Farmington leaves one stranded. We've completed a half an inning. It's Farmington nothing, Canton coming to bat. 
Helping bring you tonight's game, Spooner Animal Clinic. Compassionate care when needed most. hy V, your employee-owned grocery store on North Main in Canton. The Bank of Farmington, with locations in Canton and Farmington. Remax Traders Unlimited, Susie McMillan, your local agent. WVYS, the voice of Fulton County. Stereo Village, located on South 4th Avenue in Canton. Wesley United Methodist Church, to know Christ and make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions. If you'd like to buy a DVD, call us. Back in Canton, Faith Demler steps in the batter's box as Farmington is ready to go. Erica Pasley pitching for the Lady Farmers, delivers, and that is taking a strike. And Demler finds herself down in the count 0-1, the left-hander. Pitch on the way, misses away. And that evens the count at 1-1. One and one. Bailey Culver due up next, followed by Ellen Petty. Swing and a miss. Emler down in the count. A ball and two strikes now. Bottom half of the first. Farmington left one uh, stranded, but did not score. This is low, and that evens it now at 2-2. Two and two. Pasley delivers, and that is hit down the line, but foul. And it'll stay two and two. Didn't miss by much, at least from this angle. Didn't look like it was foul by a whole lot. Pitch is on the way, and that ball's hit into left field, and that one is fair, so Demler... Reaches with the leadoff single for the Lady Giants. Bailey Culver steps in now. Culver. Takes a strike. And it's an 0-1 count. Culver playing center field for Canton. Looks to lay down the bunt, and it's fouled back. Demler will stay put. And that's two strikes on Culver. The lost art of bunting. Misses inside. It's now one and two. Mark Bixler with you here from Canton. Culver takes, swings, and that is hit to the shortstop, and they'll get the force at first. Demler moves up on the fielder's choice. So one away instead of getting the lead runner. Now a base hit could drive in a run. Take it outside, it's 1-0. and Ellen Petty at bat, Haley, Col uh, Haley Bear due up next. Popped foul behind over the backstop. Pasley delivers, that gets away and that's gonna allow Demler her speech. She goes in uncontested. So a 2-1 count on Petty. That is strike, th uh, strike two, and it evens it up at 2-2. Two and two. Bottom half of the first, Canton threatening. That is bounced across home plate, and that means a full count. Uh, 
Leslie delivers, and that has taken strike three. So two outs, and Halle Bear will step in now. Ellie Downing awaiting on deck. That is taking a strike. Bear behind, 0-1. Pasley delivers, and that is hit to the shortstop. The throw to first is wide, and they get the tag. So it'll be 6-3, to three, and Canton leaves one stranded as well here in the bottom of the first. So after one complete, it's Farmington nothing, Canton nothing. Helping bring you this event, Monocle's Pizza, located on North 5th Avenue in Canton. In Canton, we deliver. By Canton Napa, located on North 1st Avenue in Canton. Innovations Hair Design, with locations in Canton and Macomb. Sedgwick Funeral Homes with locations in Canton, Farmington, and Bartonville. CD Country, your home in the country. Lambs of God Daycare and Preschool located on Avenue A in Canton. By M. Bixler Video Productions. Interested in underwriting an event? Give us a call. It costs less than you think. Well, we head to the top of the second. No score. Elizabeth Rossich on for a second inning of work. And leading off will be Justice Jennings, the second baseman. Jennings, Foster, and Barton for the Lady Farmers. Rossich missed a little high and away on Jennings. So it's a 1-0 count. Miss low and now 2 and 0. No score, top of the second. Of course, even at the junior high level and throughout, it's basically seven innings. Swing and a miss, and that makes it 2 and 1. Rosich, after falling behind 2 and 0. Has evened it up now at two and two. No score in the top of the second. A leadoff runner or leadoff batter is up, and Justice Jennings has worked it to a full count at three and two. That misses, and the leadoff runner is on with the leadoff walk. That brings up Delaney Foster. Foster playing first base for the Lady Farmers of Farmington. Looks to lay down the bun and bunts through it. And it's an 0-1 count on Foster. Sydney Barton do up next. That's bowed back, and it's an 0-2 count. Now let's see if Rossich can work around the leadoff walk. That is strike three as Foster is caught looking. So one away here in the top of the second, and Sidney Barton will step in now for the Lady Farmers into the batter's box. Rossage delivers. This is a little outside, and they get out number two. Jennings caught stealing two to six, I believe that was. No, two to four. So two outs now in the inning. And that is a strike, and it evens the count at 
one and one. Missed high, didn't miss by much. Looked pretty good from out here, but not calling balls and strikes. That's a swing and a miss, and it evens the count at two and two. We're in the top of the second. No score, nobody on. That's a swing and a miss. Rosich gets her second strikeout of the inning, and that retires the side. So after an inning and a half, still Farmington and Canton in a scoreless ball game. Helping bring you tonight's game, Spoonerver Animal Clinic. Compassionate care when needed most. High V, your employee-owned grocery store on North Main in Canton. The Bank of Farmington, with locations in Canton and Farmington. Remax Traders Unlimited, Susie McMillan, your local agent. WVYS, the voice of Fulton County. Stereo Village, located on South 4th Avenue in Canton. Wesley United Methodist Church, to know Christ and make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, if you'd like to buy a DVD, call us. Bottom of the second, still a scoreless ball game. Mark Bixler with you, M. Bixler Video Productions. And Ellie Downing. Takes a strike, and it's a no-1 count as Erica Pasley delivers. That misses inside, and it evens it up at 1-1. One and one. This Illinois Elementary School Association game. I want to thank all of our businesses who help underwrite our events on Public Access and Community Access TV in Canton and Farmington, as well as on YouTube. And that ball is hit into left, uh, right field. That'll be a base hit. So Ellie Downing with the leadoff single. So for the second inning in a row, Canton gets the leadoff runner on. Let's see if they can push the runner across here in this inning. Katie Smith steps in now for... Lady Giants, that bunt, and that is foul, and Smith gets new life. Nice effort by the third baseman, Sidney Barton for Farmington. Again, looks to lay down the bunt. This time gets it. They get the four, so that'll be three to four. on that sacrifice. So one away and Ellie Downing moves up to second base. Pasley delivers and that's a swing and a miss. Evens it up at one and one with one out. That back up the middle. That'll be out number two as Pasley goes one to three, but Downing moves up to third base. Davis was out, and that brings up Elizabeth Rossage, so she could help herself right here. Out back, and it's an 0-2 count. 
Ella Wheeler awaits on deck. Bottom of the second, and that ball is hit to the shortstop. Bobbles at Rosich. Unable to beat it out, though, and again, can't unable to do anything as that'll go four to three with the leadoff runner reaching. Well, we've completed two. It remains Canton and Farmington in a scoreless game. Helping bring you this event, Monocle's Pizza, located on North 5th Avenue in Canton. In Canton, we deliver. By Canton Napa, located on North 1st Avenue in Canton. Innovations Hair Design, with locations in Canton and Macomb. Sedgwick Funeral Homes with locations in Canton, Farmington, and Bartonville. CD Country, your home in the country. Lambs of God Daycare and Preschool, located on Avenue A in Canton. By M. Bixler Video Productions, interested in underwriting an event? Give us a call. It costs less than you think. Back for the third. Farmington getting ready to whip. step into the batter's box as it will be Riley Jansen, Olivia Marcotte, and then we swing back to the top of the order with Emma Evans. I believe that missed. So there's a 1 0 count. That's a swing and a miss, so that evens it up at 1 and 1. Or is it 2 and 1? And that 1 and 2 is the count. So that was taking a strike. Swing and a miss. Jansen a strikeout victim. Rossich has struck out the last three she has faced. Olivia Marquette, Marcotte steps in and takes a strike outside part of the plate. And the count is 0-1. Yeah, look to slap that one, and that's a swing and a miss, and the count now 0-2. Oh Emma Evans due up next, and that misses just low. Right, back to Rosich and on to Barr. Bayer, excuse me. So two out, one to three. Marcotte is out, and we swing to the top of the order with Emma Evans. Hit one back up the middle to Rosich. That misses inside. It's a 1-0 count. That is a called strike, and it evens it at one and one. Rossich delivers, and that is popped foul out of play, first base side. A ball and two strikes on Evans as Rossich in the circle, ready to deliver, and that is fouled out of play again, and it remains one and two. Good crowd on hand from both Farmington and Canton. Back up the middle again. Rossich scoops it up on the bear, and that ends the inning. So Farmington goes out one, two, three. 
We head to the bottom of the third. It's still Farmington nothing, Canton nothing. Helping bring you tonight's game, Spooner Animal Clinic. Compassionate care when needed most. hy V, your employee-owned grocery store on North Main in Canton. The Bank of Farmington, with locations in Canton and Farmington. REMAX Traders Unlimited, Susie McMillan, your local agent. WVYS, the voice of Fulton County. Stereo Village, located on South 4th Avenue in Canton. Wesley United Methodist Church, to know Christ and make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions. If you'd like to buy a DVD, call us. Back in Canton, Ella Wheeler steps in for the Lady Giants as Erica Pasley delivers, and Wheeler looked to slap at that and fouled it back. And it's no one count. And it'll be Wheeler, Demler, and Culver. Pasley delivers, and that, ooh, that didn't miss by much. Two and one. That is a strike. So that evens it up at two and two. And she is going to be a strikeout victim. One away, Faith Demler steps in now into the batter's box for the Lady Giants. No score. That misses low and away. That is hit. A line drive that is picked off by the third baseman. So fast, I didn't even have a chance to react. F5, two outs now, and Bailey Culver steps in. Strike at the knees on the inside part of the plate. And it's a no-1 count. Ground ball scooped up by the shortstop on to first. So that'll be Putrich to Foster. So Canton goes out one, two, three. In their half of the third. So after three complete, it's still nothing, nothing between Farmington and Canton. Helping bring you this event, Monocle's Pizza, located on North 5th Avenue in Canton. In Canton, we deliver. By Canton Napa, located on North 1st Avenue in Canton. Innovations Hair Design, with locations in Canton and Macomb. Sedgwick Funeral Homes with locations in Canton, Farmington, and Bartonville. CD Country, your home in the country. Lambs of God Daycare and Preschool located on Avenue A in Canton. By M. Bixler Video Productions. Interested in underwriting an event? Give us a call. It costs less than you think. Back in Canton, Deidre Lang steps in and she swings and misses as Rossich hit the outside part of the plate and it's an 0-1 count. Swing and a miss. 0-2 on Lang. And 
No score. We're in the top of the fourth. Quick moving game. Could be one of those games that one mistake could decide this game. Two and two is the count. This is high, and that makes for a full count. Lauren Kephart due up next, and that misses ball four. Well, let's see. They Rosich hasn't paid for giving up a leadoff. Didn't pay for an leadoff walk earlier in the game. See if she can. Do the same here in the top of the fourth. They look to lay down the bunt, and that is fouled. And it's no one count. Aaron Kephart at bat for Farmington. That is fouled back, and it's an 0-2 count. Reese Putrich due up next. Rosic in the circle and gets herself ready and delivers. That is hit to Demler. They get the force on to first. Not in time. So six to four. Lang is out for the second time. And Kephart reaches on the fielder's choice, Kephart. Reese Putrich took that a little low. It's 1-0, and oh, I believe. That is called strike. That evens it at one and one. Justice Jennings due up next. Fouled back off the backstop, and it's a ball and two strikes. Top of the fourth, no score. That is going to be a blooper that's going to drop and gets by, and that could be. Well, the throw goes into third and got her. I'll give Putrich the base hit. That will be 9-4. To five for out number two, and Putrich did not move up on that. She is still at first base. That is a little blooper. And there to make the catch is the second baseman, Ellie Downing. So Justice Jennings is out F4, and Farmington leaves another one stranded. We head to the bottom of the fourth. Still, Farmington nothing, Canton nothing. Helping bring you tonight's game, Spooner Animal Clinic. Compassionate care when needed most. hy V, your employee-owned grocery store on North Main in Canton. The Bank of Farmington, with locations in Canton and Farmington. REMAX Traders Unlimited, Susie McMillan, your local agent. WVYS, the voice of Fulton County. Stereo Village, located on South 4th Avenue in Canton. 
Wesley United Methodist Church to know Christ and make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions. If you'd like to buy a DVD, call us. Back in Canton, a scoreless ball game between Canton and Farmington here at the CHS Softball Complex. That is hit to the shortstop, on to first. Downing is, or I should say Petty is out, 6-3. to three. And there's one away, and Halle Bear steps in. Missed high. That's a 1-0 count. Bottom of the fourth. Scoreless ball game as Bear swings and misses probably at ball two, but doesn't matter as that evens the count with that swing and miss at one and one. Out off the backstop, and it's a ball and two strikes now on Bear. Ellie Downing due up next. That ball is lifted into left field. That is going to be caught. Well, Bear gave it a ride. F7 if you're scoring with us. Two outs for Ellie Downing. Chopper, and they get Canton retired. One, two, three as Downing goes out five to three. So after four complete, still Canton and Farmington in a scoreless ball game. Helping bring you this event. Monocle's Pizza, located on North 5th Avenue in Canton. In Canton, we deliver. By Canton Napa, located on North 1st Avenue in Canton. Innovations Hair Design, with locations in Canton and Macomb. Sedgwick Funeral Homes, with locations in Canton, Farmington, and Bartonville. CD Country, your home in the country. Lambs of God Daycare and Preschool, located on Avenue A in Canton. By M. Bixler Video Productions. Interested in underwriting an event? Give us a call. It costs less than you think. Farmington at bat as we head to the top of the fifth. Delaney Foster steps in. Mrs. Lowe. Elizabeth Rossich, so it's a 1-0 count. It's Foster, Barton, and Jansen. That right, is a ground ball as Demler scoops it up. On to first, a bear. 6-3. Foster is out. Sydney Barton now steps in. That ball's lifted foul. Third base side out of play. And that is a swing and a miss. So Barton down in the count 0 and 2 quickly. Round ball, Bear misses it, throw to first, not in time, that'll be E3. Couldn't quite come up with it, snag it. So with one out, one on. Riley Jansen steps in now. 
Look to bunt and strikes through it. So an 0 1 count on Janton. Again looking to bunt, this time fouls it, and it is going to be a foul ball, so Barton must return to first. So 0 and 2 the count on Janton. No score. We're in the fifth. Misses, and it's a 1 2 count now. This is inside, even sit at two and two. Ground ball. Bear gets this one. She'll take it unassisted. So Olivia Marcotte. Steps in now with two outs. Good charge off by Barton at second base. Marcotte strikes through. And it evens it at one and one. Two and one now is that apparently pulled back. And that she takes and is a called strike. Two and two, the count. That fouled back. And it remains two and two. Top of the fifth, the go-ahead run for Farmington, standing at the second. Chop back to Rossich, throw to Bear. They get her. And Farmington leaves another one stranded. Marcotte out one to three to end the top half of the fifth. We head to the bottom half of the fifth. It's still Farmington nothing, Canton nothing. Helping bring you tonight's game, Spoonerver Animal Clinic. Compassionate care when needed most. Hi V, your employee owned grocery store on North Main in Canton. The Bank of Farmington with locations in Canton and Farmington. Remax Traders Unlimited, Susie McMillan, your local agent. WVYS, the voice of Fulton County. Stereo Village, located on South 4th Avenue in Canton. Wesley United Methodist Church, to know Christ and make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, if you'd like to buy a DVD, call us. Katie Smith leading off for the Canton Lady Giants here in the bottom half of the fifth, the scoreless ball game from the CHS Softball Complex. Both of these schools from Fulton County. This is high and I think it evens it up at one and one. Strike at the knees. A ball and two strikes.
Swing and a miss. Ruby Davis steps in now. Davis is 0 for 1, grounded back up the middle to Pasley. Bottom of the fifth, a scoreless game. That's a swing and a miss. So Davis sees herself falling behind at 0 and 1. And it's now 0 and 2 as a Another called strike. Back up the middle again. Pasley picks it up, throws it on to Foster. Davis out one to three for out number two. Elizabeth Rossich steps in now for the Lady Giants. She could help herself. That ball hit, popped on the infield, and coming up with that was Reese Putrich. F6. Rosich is out, and that ends the fifth. For the Lady Giants of Canton Ingersoll, we head to the sixth still. Farmington nothing, Canton nothing. Helping bring you this event, Monocle's Pizza, located on North 5th Avenue in Canton. In Canton, we deliver. By Canton Napa, located on North 1st Avenue in Canton. Innovations Hair Design, with locations in Canton and Macomb. Sedgwick Funeral Homes with locations in Canton, Farmington, and Bartonville. CD Country, your home in the country. Lambs of God Daycare and Preschool located on Avenue A in Canton. By M. Bixler Video Productions. Interested in underwriting an event? Give us a call. It costs less than you think. Well, for Farmington, it's the top of the order at bat once again. Emma, Evan, or Emma Evans will step in, and that ball's lifted into left field. Right field, rather, and Downing and Durenzi, Durenzi running into each other, but coming up with the catch was Downing. Both were right there, and that is scorched off the first base side dugout. Deidre Long, no, Deidre Lang, excuse me, steps in. Can't read my writing once in a while. We're in the sixth. Nothing, nothing. That's fouled back, and it's... I'm not sure if it's one and one or one and two. But I know it's at least two strikes. Rossage delivers, misses low and away, and it evens it at two and two. Well, if Canton wants to keep from having to bat in the seventh, that misses, and now it's three and two on Lang. Chopper downing to Bear. Two outs. Four to three, Lang is out, and that will bring up Lauren Kephart. Lauren Kephart. She has reached both times via the fielder's choice. Demler knocks it down, but 
She's going to reach on that one. That was a tough one. We're going to give her a hit. She had to reach for that one. Did knock it down, but I think she was going to reach regardless on that one. So with two outs, Reese Putridge at bat. One and oh the count. Justice Jennings awaits on deck, and that is a ground ball in the dirt. Gets past the first baseman. And now the go-ahead run with one out or two outs. So that will be E five. And Kephart moves all the way to third base. So not only, and Bobby Barnes coming out and chatting with his infield, not only did that throwing error allow the runner to reach, it did allow the runner to at second to move up all the way to third. Justice Jennings at bat. She is over two. Two outs. This is the farthest uh, Farmington has had a runner. Rossich delivers a strike. And it's an 0-1 count. Rossich. That is going to be, they get the force, and that ends the inning. They leave two stranded. Jennings is out four to three. So we head to the bottom of the six. It's still Farmington nothing, Canton nothing. Helping bring you tonight's game, Spoonerver Animal Clinic. Compassionate care when needed most. hy V, your employee-owned grocery store on North Main in Canton. The Bank of Farmington, with locations in Canton and Farmington. Remax Traders Unlimited, Susie McMillan, your local agent. WBYS, the voice of Fulton County. Stereo Village, located on South 4th Avenue in Canton. Wesley United Methodist Church, to know Christ and make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, if you'd like to buy a DVD, call us. Ella Wheeler stepping in now for the Lady Giants, leading off here in the bottom of the six. Eric Pasley, as Wheeler bunts that and fouls it back. And it's an 0-1 count. Both Pasley and Rosich in a pitcher's duel. That is bunted foul, and it's an 0-2 count now. Pasley delivers, and Wheeler swings and misses. So one away, and Faith Demler steps in now. Demler's one of those players that if she gets a gapper, that misses high and away. It's 1-0. and oh. She is 1 for 2. If she gets a back gapper, she could get all the way to third, and that is going to be fouled out of play. She let off the game with a 
single, and uh, that may have been one of two missed opportunities for Canton. As their first two innings, they got that leadoff hitter around a third, but couldn't do anything with it. Two and one the count on Demler. Bailey Culver due up next. That is a chopper picked up by Putrich. The leadoff runner is on. Faith Demler took a big hop right as Putrich went to field it. We'll give Demler the hit, the benefit of the doubt. She was, Putrich was moving in to field the ball, and it took a big hop right over her shoulder. And is fouled back. Bailey Culver falls behind 0-1. No score. Culver. That, that throw, that get the force. They get the lead off, the lead runner. Four to six, so two outs now. Culver reaches on the fielder's choice, and that'll bring up Ellen Petty, who is 0 for 2. This is high and away. Ground ball foul, third base side. And it evens it at one and one. Pasley sets, delivers, and that hit up the middle. They'll get the force, and that will end the inning. So Pasley takes Culver out six unassisted. Route number three, Petty, will be left stranded, reaching on the fielder's choice. We head to the seventh with the score. Farmington nothing. Canton nothing. Helping bring you this event, Monocle's Pizza, located on North 5th Avenue in Canton. In Canton, we deliver by Canton Napa, located on North 1st Avenue in Canton. Innovations Hair Design, with locations in Canton and Macomb. Sedgwick Funeral Homes, with locations in Canton, Farmington, and Bartonville. CD Country, your home in the country. Lambs of God Daycare and Preschool, located on Avenue A in Canton. By M. Bixler Video Productions. Interested in underwriting an event? Give us a call. It costs less than you think. Top of the seventh, still a scoreless game as Elizabeth Rossich on for her seventh inning of work. And Delaney Foster at bat. She is over two. That has taken a strike, and the count is even now at one and one. It's a scoreless ball game. This is high and away, two and one. Foster, as we said, is 0 for 2. She struck out in the second and grounded out to short in the fifth. That has taken a strike. And it evens it at two and two. That ball's hit into left field and there to make the catch. Abby Dorenzi. F9, one out, and Sidney Barton now steps in for Farmington. That is caught by Bar by Bear, two outs.
F3 if you're scoring with us. Riley Jansen steps in now. Nothing, nothing is the score. We're in the top of the seventh. That is going to be foul. Swing and a miss. Foul back into the mitt of Ruby Davis. So 0 and 2 the count with two outs. That is scooped up the throw to first. Ellen Petty, 5 to 3. As she throws it on to Bear. And Farmington goes out 1, 2, 3 in the top of the seventh. Well, we head to the bottom of the seventh. Can Canton rally for the walk-off win here in the bottom of the seventh? We'll have to see. Can Erica Pasley shut them down and force extra innings? Back with the bottom of the seventh in just a moment. Helping bring you tonight's game, Spooner Animal Clinic. Compassionate care when needed most. hy V, your employee-owned grocery store on North Main in Canton. The Bank of Farmington, with locations in Canton and Farmington. Remax Traders Unlimited, Susie McMillan, your local agent. WVYS, the voice of Fulton County. Stereo Village, located on South 4th Avenue in Canton. Wesley United Methodist Church, to know Christ and make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, if you'd like to buy a DVD, call us. Bottom of the seventh, a scoreless ball game, and Halle Bear rips that foul down the third baseline. And Bear falls behind in the count 0 and 1. Count even now, one and one. That's fouled back off the backstop, and it's now a ball and two strikes on Bear. And can Canton get the walk-off win? And that misses low. Even sit at two and two. They'd like to see this leadoff runner reach. Four, five, and six, Bear, Downing, and Smith. Full count, I believe, is what he signaled. Pasley, swing and a miss. Bear strikes out. One out, Ellie Downing now steps in for the Lady Giants. That's going to be a base hit. Downing gets that between third and short. She gets her second hit of the ball game. Katie Smith at bat now. Five. 
at the bunt. They get the force. And Downing is at second base. So two outs. Smith is out. Downing moves up to second base. Ruby Davis is 0 for 2. A base hit could win this with a walk-off win for Canton. That's back up the middle. Pasley scoops it up on to first, and that ends the inning. So we head to extras after 7. It is Farmington nothing, Canton nothing. Helping bring you this event, Monocle's Pizza, located on North 5th Avenue in Canton. In Canton, we deliver. By Canton Napa, located on North 1st Avenue in Canton. The Canton Little Giants Booster Club. Go Little Giants! Innovations Hair Design, with locations in Canton and Macomb. Sedgwick Funeral Homes with locations in Canton, Farmington, and Bartonville. CD Country, your home in the country. Lambs of God Daycare and Preschool located on Avenue A in Canton. By M. Bixler Video Productions. Interested in underwriting an event? Give us a call. It costs less than you think. Olivia Marcotte steps in the batter's box for Farmington. Or is it? Taking a strike. I can't see the number. I can't tell if it's six or two. Swing and a miss. Or three. Thought I heard Laura Stevens, but that misses high. It's a ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss, and there's one away. Once she goes into the dugout, I'll be able to tell you. I think that is Laura Stevens. Yes, it is. Swing to the top of the order. So Laura Stevens and that ball is going to be scooped up. On to first, they get the out. So Evans is out. Deidre Lang at bat. That is five to three, so two outs. Chopper pounding on to bear, and that ends the inning as Farmington goes out one, two, three again. We head to the bottom, the eighth, still scoreless between Farmington and Canton. Helping bring you tonight's game, Spooner Animal Clinic. Compassionate care when needed most. High V, your employee owned grocery store on North Main in Canton. The Bank of Farmington with locations in Canton and Farmington. Remax Traders Unlimited, Susie McMillan, your local agent. WBYS, the voice of Fulton County. Stereo Village, located on South 4th Avenue in Canton. Wesley United Methodist Church, to know Christ and make him known. And by M. Bixler Video Productions, if you'd like to buy a DVD, call us. Bottom of the eighth, the scoreless game, 
Elizabeth Rossich steps in and she fouls it back. It's been a pitcher's duel between Rossich and her counterpart, Erica Pasley, here this afternoon. No score. Rossich swings and misses. That ball is lifted into left field, and that is going to be caught. So Rossich gave it a little bit of a ride. Caught by Lauren Kephart. Ella Wheeler steps in now. F7, one out. Rossich out if you are scoring with us. Wheeler scoring to butt, but pulling back, taking a ball. It's 0-1. Faith Demler do up next. And Wheeler will come down and have a chat with her coach, Bob Barnes. One and oh. That is that could be some trouble. It is. Wheeler on a little nubber out in front of the plate. It's a base hit for the Lady Giants. And now Faith Demler at bat. And it kind of puts the defense in a little bit of an awkward position. You don't know what she's going to do, Demler. Especially with this type of uh, batting lineup for Canton. Now you, you think she's going to bunt, so you kind of squeeze your corners in a little bit. But now well, she lays this one down. It's a beauty. And safe. He laid down the perfect bunt. With one out. Runners now at first and second for Bailey Culver. A base hit would win this one, more than likely. Culver grounds it. They'll get the force. So two outs. Ellen Petty at bat now. She is over two. Takes a strike. Runners are at second and third for the Lady Giants. Ground ball gets through, and that'll do it. Ellen Petty with a walk-off single scoring Ella Wheeler. With a lone RBI of the ball game. And the little Lady Giants win this one to nothing. And they'll improve to 6-0 on the season. We'll be back and we'll recap this exciting one-run ball game pitcher's duel in just a moment. Helping bring you this event, Monocle's Pizza, located on North 5th Avenue in Canton. In Canton, we deliver. By Canton Napa, located on North 1st Avenue in Canton. Innovations Hair Design, with locations in Canton and Macomb. Sedgwick Funeral Homes, with locations in Canton, Farmington, and Bartonville. CD Country, your home in the country. 
Lambs of God Daycare and Preschool, located on Avenue A in Canton. By M. Bixler Video Productions. Interested in underwriting an event? Give us a call. It costs less than you think. Back in Canton, as you can see, the Lady Giants excited. Uh, Canton Ingersoll as they remain unbeaten after a scare from the Farmington Lady Farmers here this afternoon in a pitcher's duel between Elizabeth Rossich and Erica Pasley. But the Lady Giants pull out the win in a thriller in the bottom of the eighth, an extra inning duel as it remained scoreless. Canton got uh, runner to third a couple of times. And even in the seventh, did get a runner to second, but couldn't push them across. Farmington got a runner, had runners at first and third in the sixth, but unable to push a run across. But Canton finally getting the winning run across in the seventh, as after Elizabeth Rossich flew out to left field, Ella Wheeler bunted herself on board. Faith Demler did the same. And then moved on to second and third on a ground out by Bailey Culver. And then Ellen Petty single down the line on the third base side. Pushed across the winning run, and that's the final here this afternoon. Canton Ingersoll with a one to nothing win as they remain undefeated at 6-0 and at the junior high girls softball. That'll do it. Again, the final score, Canton 1, Farmington nothing from... The Canton High School Softball Complex, I'm Mark Bixler, and for M. Bixler Video Productions, until next time, so long, everybody.